Good day everybody, welcome back to the flight deck. We're here on the ground at Stansted doing another cargo run. This time we're heading off eastward. And we are taking our cargo today out to Ostrava. So flight time is approximately two hours. And uh, we'll be landing on the ground. Weather should be good. And we're just going to get the aircraft loaded up, and uh, we'll be with you when we're ready to start our uh, our prep and uh, get the engines fired up. It looks like loading is all done. We're going to hop inside. We'll take a look at our route and then we'll get ourselves uh, ready for pushback. All right, so we are here at Stansted. We're going to be taking off to the northeast. Uh, we're going to swing down. We're on the Clacton 5 Sierra departure and uh, we're going to carry on out towards the Clacton VOR. We're then going to turn south out over the water and Head down here, coming ashore just at the Belgian France French border. Swinging through Belgium down over uh, Germany, as you can see. And we're going to head eastwards out towards Czechoslovakia. And then coming in, and given the current weather, we're going to be landing on runway 22 down here at uh, Stavia. So that is our planned route. Flight time is just under two hours and it should be uh, relatively good weather-wise. We'll see if we get ATC on the air. We are up on VATSIM and we'll see how that goes. So we'll get ready for pushback. Uh, GSX has given me a little bit of issues. So we're going to see if we can uh, push back using the PMDG system and get ourselves up and on the way. Stansted area traffic, Skyways 7016, stand one Romeo, uh, push and start straight back. Oop. Back to our correct views, there we go. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start, tail straight out. So doors are closed, equipment is clear, chocks removed. We got our push and start. We're gonna turn our anti-collision light on. Turn on all the fuel pumps. A little bit of fuel in the center Press tanks. Here we go. That is good. Packs will come off. Mission mode selector is set to A and B and starting engine number two. Gonna have to check the profile for the aircraft. Our starter cutout, starting engine number one. Brakes now. Steering pin is pulled. 
Watch for the salute and release from guidance on your right. Have a good flight. So he's going to go to the right for the handoff. Just make sure that the tug is disconnected. It is. Didn't quite go far enough back. That's okay, we'll just swing around here. Let's wait for starter cutout again. There we go, starter cutout, good start on engine number two. Alright, so we'll pop up top. Generators one and two are now on. Engine one and two start switches will go to continuous. Probe heats are on. Wing and engine anti-ice are not required. Engine bleeds one and two are now on. Packs are on auto. Circulation fans are on auto. Isolation valve is set to auto. APU bleed is now off. APU is off. And we are all good up top. So coming down, flaps are going to go to five for takeoff. Elevator trim. Let's go back here into here. Index takeoff 4.9, so just below five. Right about there is good. Flight controls over to the systems page. It's full left, full right, neutral, full forward, full back, neutral, left rudder, right rudder, neutral. Engine instruments are looking good. We'll put that information up there. Going LNAV, VNAV on the MCP. Auto throttles are now on. Warning recall is clear. We're set up the way we want it on the two displays. And we are good for taxis. Taxi light is on. There's aircraft that just landed out there. We heard him coming in. Auto brakes are on RTO, so we're going to do a hard turn around and then head out. Let me bring up my chart. Stand stead area traffic skyway 7016 taxiing runway 04 via Alpha West Alpha Hotel holding short Hotel 3. Alright, so get the brakes released. A little bit of power. Get that nose around. Good, I'll check to see if there's a better uh, GSX profile for this aircraft. Taxi down, we'll see you at the runway. All right, we're here at the hold line. Turn off those fuel pumps since those tanks are now pretty much empty. And we're ready to do our pre-test. So fuel flow is equal on both engines. V speeds are checked 138, 139, 145. MCP 155, 042, and 6000. Now data is set. Radios are checked 
and we are good to go. So position lights will go strobe steady. Taxi light is off. Turn off lights are on. Landing lights are on. Transponder is set to TA only. Traffic is on both sides. Train is on my side and runway is identified as 04 and we're going to take position. Stansted area traffic, Skyways 7016, taking position, runway is 04. I'm just going to set 0. Oh, it starts with a 7. There's my flight number. Uh, make sure there's no other traffic inbound. And we are good to move out. Approach path is clear. low cloud today. It should be a pretty good once we get up above. We'll get ourselves lined up. There we go. Brakes are set. So, roadways identified clock is running. Engines to 40%. Stansted area traffic, Skyway 7016, departing runway 04 on the Clacton 5 Sierra departure. Alright, brakes released. And Toga. Your speed's alive. Check. Autopilot is on, LNAV, VNAV is on, auto brakes are off, gear is up, retracted, gear is off, engine start switches are off, runway turnoff lights are off. Flaps two. Flaps one. And flaps up. So we're going to be climbing up to 6,000 feet. I'll be holding the uh, limits here as we go. Our first restriction is 4,000 feet. It's coming up. And it is that uh, BKY. There we go, leveling up four thousand. Well, these are all listed as distances from uh, the VORs, but that's fine. 
we have to be above uh, 3,000 but below 4,000, so we're on 4,000. After we make the turn, it'll take us up to 5,000 and then 6,000, which will hold out to the Clacton VOR, which is all the way out there, and then we can start climbing out from there. Turn the train radar off. And it's looking good. So we'll bring our view back up over here. You can see where we're headed. Clacton VOR is out here south of Ipswich. And we are looking good so far. It looks like we're going to avoid. There's uh, ATC here, ATC here, but it looks like we're going to slip between the two of them. We'll see how that plays out. So that's us on our way. We'll give you some views as we go and as we head out to the North Sea, which we can see there. And uh, we'll catch up with you for our briefing as we descend into Czechoslovakia. And welcome back to the cockpit. We're about an hour and 38 minutes into the flight. We're descending through 15,000 feet inbound to Ostrava. Uh, it's looking good. We're the only aircraft in and out at the moment and no ATC online. So we'll be making our calls on Unicom. We're just about to reach the entry point into the arrival, which is Vaxev. And that'll be good. We're going to be landing on runway uh, 22. Winds are currently uh, 170 at 6 knots, so not too bad. And it says ceiling and visibility are okay. A little bit of cloud, but it seems to be clearing as we're pushing over. We might end up in that clear patch over there. Uh, airport is just off in our kind of 1 o'clock position. And uh, we are looking good. We're coming downwards now. We've been descending at 20, or 270 knots as we uh, come down towards our 10,000 foot transition level. And everything is looking good. We're two and a half miles out of Bakzev, or Bazev, and uh, we'll make our first call there as we pass overhead. We are planning on doing the uh, Bazev 4 Tango arrival for the ILS runway 22. Ostrava area traffic, Skyway 7016 overhead, uh, Bazev for the Bazev 4 Tango arrival, ILS runway 22, descending through flight level 123 for Ostrava. Everything is looking good. We're coming up for 12,000 feet. We're going to bring our speed back to 245, which is where we're going to hold for our flap deployment. We can get flaps 5 out at that speed. So we've got our destination weather, we've checked it, arrival data is set, we're going to be doing a flaps 40 landing with a reference speed of 135, so an approach speed of 140. Landing altitude is set, it's 850 feet. Uh, radios are set, localizer and ILS frequencies are all set and it's in and reading. Uh, NTA is not really required here. Uh, recall, we can do our check is good. MCP is uh, set for 3,000, that's our platform. Altimeters are 1011 when we get down to about 7,000 feet. Minimums of 1,008 feet are set. Missed approach, if we have to do a missed approach, basically it is going to be climbing on a course of 221, which we will set our heading to right now.
There we go, 221 to 4,000 feet, expect vectors after that. So we're going to uh, reset to 3,000 feet once we capture the ILS. That was 10,000 feet coming up, we are slowing down. So we're gonna get the landing lights on, turn off lights, we'll get the logo and wing lights on as well. As we descend to 10,000 feet, we're now below uh, 250 knots, so we're gonna go flaps one. Our turn flaps two. And flaps five. Interesting uh, ground out here in eastern Czechoslovakia. Very uh, rugged rolling hills down there. Looking good. And we're going to uh, come down and we are currently heading towards uh, Bog 2. This is over here. Oh, we're coming around and doing our entry in. So the speed is good. We're coming 3,000 feet. So we're going to switch over to local pressure now. Yeah, so we're below 10,000 feet. Cabin pressure is looking good. We are depressurizing. Landing lights are on. Turn off lights are on. Seat belt signs never came off. And uh, there's no crew in the back today. We have a crew here waiting for us. And everything else is good. Confirmed ATIS. And we are confirmed the METAR was 16 minutes ago. Winds are 170. A little bit of a swing between 120 and 200, but that's fine. It's still going to be a left-hand uh, quarter and crosswind, no matter how we look at it. Train radar is on. It's pretty flat. Some hills off in the distance there, but I think we're going to be turning before we get there. See the train starting to come in. We're going to make the turn here. We're going to bring our speed down to 200 knots. Looking good. Fuel is good. And everything else is looking fine. No cautions, no warning, nothing on the recall. <coughs> So on our approach now, uh, nav course and frequency is check speeds. We are within limits and we are slowing. Uh, we don't need the speed brake now, so we're going to arm the speed brake. Auto brakes are set to one. We're going to go to the far end of the runway and it's fairly long anyway. Uh, approach mode we will arm when we come around the corner. We are looking good. There's speed coming down through 220 now. Beautiful uh, sun, uh, sun here starting to go down in the west. Get some nice golden light on the ground. It's around. It is dinner time here. It's about. Uh, let's say it's about almost 5:30 in the evening on this beautiful March day. Speed's down to 200, so we're gonna go flaps 10.
gonna go to a hard 3,000 feet here at this one here. So there we are coming around the corner, all the smokestacks off in the distance. And we are looking good. We're on the base leg here. The airport is off over in this direction. We ourselves lined up. We have the localizer. We do not have the glide slope yet. That should come in any minute now. We're 11 and a half miles out. Gonna reduce speed to 185. Pass through 4,200 feet. We've got an 11,000 foot runway and the cargo terminal is down at the far end. So it all should be good. There's the glide slope coming in. Alright, so we're one and a half miles out. We're going to go into approach mode now. VOR localizer is armed. Glide slope is armed. Here we go. Our localizer capture. plant or something there coming around the corner 2500 2500 feet there's the airport and we're descending down to that 3000 feet Three thousand feet, leveling off. Glide slope is armed. Or, or is alive. <coughs> Coming up for eight miles. We're going to reduce speed to one sixty-five. One dot above seven and a half miles. Gear down. Gear down three green flaps 15. Speed slowly coming back. Glide slope capture. Nineteen hundred feet, speed one sixty five. <coughs> Flaps twenty five. Coming up for five miles, we're going to set our approach speed of 140. It's below 160, flaps 30. Four miles below 150, flaps full. Carry down three green flaps, full recall is clear, lights are all on, and airport is identified. Ostrava area traffic, Skyway 7016, short final, three and a half miles, runway 22 Ostrava. One thousand. thousand to go, aircraft is configured and stable. Good. 
beautiful uh, orange light there. Here's that wind coming out of the left at about eight knots. Should drop a couple more knots by the time we get down to the ground level. It's 500 feet. I have control. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Continue. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Down, nose down, reversers up, auto brakes. One, like I said, we're going to roll towards the far end. Reversers off. Let the auto brakes take us down. Auto brakes off. We're going to roll towards Delta. And we'll get off there. Delta coming up. It's 50 knots. 38 knots. And welcome to Ostrava. That's the cargo area we're heading to. Ostrava area traffic, Skyway 7016 is clear, runway 22 at Delta, taxiing to cargo terminal 1 via Delta Foxtrot. Alright, flaps up, speed brakes are up, transponder is the standby, position lights will go steady, landing lights are off. Turn off lights are off, taxi lights are on, logo light can stay on, wing lights will go off. Look at the APU up and going. Anti ice is not on, probe heat will come off, engine start switches are off, and auto brake is off. Alright, clear the caution. Clear the auto throttle warning. So we're going to come down here. We're going to make a right turn. We're going to go by the small cargo building and go in front of the big one over there. So we'll see you over there.
I think we're just going to park her right up in here. Looks good. We'll stop just short of the road here. There we go. Put the parking brakes on and we can get her all shut down. Alright, so the APU generators are on. APU is on. Coming down here, we will uh, see if we can get a ground power unit connected. Get them to put chocks in, we'll get ground power. As soon as that hooked up, we can uh, switch over and shut her down. There we go. So the aircraft is now on ground power. We'll just come up here and make sure we're good there. And shutting down the engines. Anti-collision light can come off. Ground equipment's coming in. Fuel pumps will go off. Isolation valve will open. Turn off the recirculation fans. And the flight directors are off as well. All right, so here we are in Ostrava. Thanks for flying along. And we will see you on the next one. Let's see if we get a nice sunset. There we go. Left the taxi light on. Kind of ruins that. There we go. Looks good. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.